Gibson in the booth for today's doubleheader. And gentlemen, we'll begin with this. Is this an end of an era for the Tigers? Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt it's the end of an era for the Tigers. I mean, you talk about a guy like Justin Verlander who's been here since really 2005, has won Cy Young's, has won MVPs. I mean, this guy, as uh, Shep just said, is iconic here, as iconic as any other athlete that has played here in Detroit. So when you move on from a guy like Justin Verlander, I think that, yes, it is the end of an era. I think the Tigers not, needed to start rebuilding. I think they've made the right choice here. You look at some of the numbers for JV and where he ranks in Tigers history. I mean, this guy is as good as it gets. And in my opinion, and I think a lot of people have said this, Gibby, that he is going to be a Hall of Famer someday. Now, obviously, it's not going to be in a Tigers uniform right now, but when they look at Justin Verlander in the future, they will consider him a Detroit Tiger. Well, I think you're, you're correct in that. When I think of it, I was there the day we brought him up for the doubleheader in 2005 for a, for a spot start. Uh, before that, I remember scouting him, our, our pitching coach, Bob Cluck, they brought a film of young Justin Verlander in and said, what do you think of this guy? And he said, well, his motion might need to be cleaned up a little bit. And here he is 2,511 innings later as a Tiger. This is a real success story of development of the Detroit Tigers uh, organization. So that makes it even more rewarding yet sadder because homegrown guys, you know what you got. And uh, these prospects, uh, it's a good haul. They've brought a lot of young men into this organization, but they're all young, and you don't, you don't know what you have. But the theory is the more prospects you get of the upper echelon level, the better chance you have to hit on those. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward. you got a game today. It's a great opportunity for a lot of young men to prove they want to be Detroit Tigers and have a career much the same as Justin Verlander did. Wouldn't that be something? And Mario and Gibby, no, no question, it's a painful move for the Tigers, but given their situation, one that had to be made, isn't that correct? Well, I look at it from a fan standpoint, there's a lot of shock and some anger this morning among the fans, but you know, when I was a kid watching the Tigers, I always thought Jack Morris would be a Tiger for life. I always thought Lance Parrish would be a Tiger for life. I thought Kirk Gibson would be a Tiger for life, but there's always a business side of baseball that, that takes over sometimes, and I think, Gibby, that, that's just the reality of the game. Well, I wanted to be a Tiger my whole career as well, but it's just not realistic. Not many guys stick around that long. Alan Trammell, Lou Whitaker, 20 years. It's just the state of the game. People move around a little bit. But uh, JV, it's a real shock to him, too. I went to bed last night. Justin Upton was traded. JV was not. As soon as I got up, I slept in a little bit today. I got up at 3.45. When I got up, it was, what? Isn't that sleeping? 3.45 Anyway, Anyway, you know, I saw that he'd been traded, and uh, I wanted him to stay. I was privately hoping he would stay. But it is the right thing to do for the organization, and it's, it's a clear signal of the direction that uh, this organization is heading right now. Well, guys, I'm, I'm with Gibby here. I definitely wanted Justin Verlander to stay. I knew the business side of the game required for the Tigers to have to move him so they could get uh, some prospects because they definitely need to replenish the form system. And I do believe they got more athletic. But selfish, guys, being selfish, getting an opportunity to play with Justin Verlander in 2006, going to the World Series, watching this young man compete at a very high level, and a very few pitchers that have the ability to elevate their game in big moments. Justin Verlander does that. Now becoming a broadcaster, coming back here to Detroit, and getting the chance to watch Justin Verlander brought back a lot of great memories of watching him and knowing that I got a chance to watch this young man as a kid, you know, really develop uh, and become a hell of a pitcher here uh, in his career at the major level. So, again, I'm going to miss Justin Verlander. It was special to watch him on a day to day basis. And obviously, guys, we're good friends. I wish him nothing but the best. You hate it from a personal standpoint, but you certainly understand it from an organizational standpoint. Uh, Mario, Gibby, guys, thanks so much for this. We'll okay. talk to you guys a, a little See bit later on.